Hi there, it's me Dayaro Dude and I'm back again with another video. First of all, I'm really sorry for not uploading for 2 months. I had exams and after that I didn't feel like doing anything. So I just took a break from game dev and YouTube but now I'm back. So I was getting quite bored lately and I didn't have much ideas for games. I was scrolling YouTube and suddenly this happened. <music> So I decided to recreate this game but in Godot and to spice things up a bit I decided to make the entire game in just one hour. The first thing I did was to create the art for the game. I went with my casual dude style characters and very simple tile set. I also created these wood logs instead of the cactus for the obstacles. Overall the assets were quite simple but they were looking good. After creating the art, I created a new project and imported all of the assets into Godot and did the whole project setup. Then instead of spawning the tiles endlessly, I just wrote a simple shader that scrolls the texture of the sprite infinitely and that gave the look as if the player is moving. Then I started to work on the object spawner. The object spawner was made to spawn any kinds of object in the game. I did so because if in future I decide to add some background elements like more trees or mountains for a paradox effect, I can easily do so and spawn any kind of object. After the basic spawning was finished, I made the obstacles move from right to left. Then I started to work on the player controller. The player movement was quite easy. All I had to make was jump and gravity and the controller was done. Then I fixed the spawn position of the obstacles because they were spawning a bit off the ground. I also scaled down the size of the obstacles because they were too big. Then to complete the game loop, I made the player dive when colliding with the obstacles. With this, the gameplay side of the game was finished. All they left was the game UI, so I added that as well. I also changed the background color and this is how the game was looking. Then at last I created the game over screen and the time was over. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this one then please consider subscribing, like this video and share with your fellow developers. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye bye.